and welcome to my first processing video. Um, little fun fact, what I was doing there is um, I actually binge watch TV shows while I'm scrapbooking and I just started watching Vikings. So that's what I was doing with the iPad. Next time I'll make sure I have it ready to go before I press record. Um, I am using Studio Calico's Planetarium kit and it's from the May 2013 from Studio Calico. And um, this is the fifth layout that I've made with this kit since I decided to really start killing my kits. So that red paper is um, from Basic Gray. It's the bow ties collection called Red Rover and that is the only piece of full pattern paper I had left from the kit. So I was really careful about making sure I chose the right pictures to go with that paper because I knew I wanted that to be my background. And um, so I chose those pictures there that are fairly new, um, taken within the past month. And uh, I chose those pictures because um, a lot of the colors coordinated with the kit. So what I'm doing here is I am double matting my photos. I wanted to make sure the pictures popped a little bit and the white helped that um, happen. And um, that card that says today is from the Amy Tangerine. It's a cut apart piece of paper from her Yes Please collection. And um, the journaling tag that I added there um, above it is actually from um, a tag that was included in the kit. And it looks like a library card, which was perfect because these pictures were taken at our local library. So what I'm looking at right now is a um, package of washi tape strips that came in the kit and I used one to ground my uh, title which I'm doing right now and those type those um, alphas are not included in the kit those were from my stash um, the ones that came in the kit weren't really gonna work for the title that I wanted to put I wanted it to be big so those are from my stash those are just stickers in um, a teal color and they're called Ali A L I. So that label, um, I'm cutting in half and putting it in two different places. That was included in the kit. That was the last one, so I used those up. And I'm wanting to do something up in the top right-hand corner there and um, just kind of looking to see what it is I want to do. And I love that yellow, uh, that yellow heart paper. I wish I had 15 pages of those. I just love it so much. I'm definitely going to use every single bit of it. So I'm going to actually cut that and um, make it into a banner to put up in the right hand corner there. So I'm just going to cut to the size I want and then um, hand cut little notches in it to make it a banner. And I'm trying to figure out what else needs to go with it. I'm thinking about doing a second banner um, after I go through my stuff just to make sure there's nothing else I wanted to use. And um, I end up using that little strip there, which is actually from the branding strip of the Amy Tangerine paper. It's, um, you know, one side has all the product information. The other side usually has a uh, little uh, design. So um, I used that and I'm cutting it to make a notch. I'm going to glue those down. And I'm going to add some more of those uh, cork chevroni type arrows. And I'm going to use up these brads. Um, there were three on there that had just a single flower on them, so I chose those three to put on the page. So those were pretty easy to choose. So I'm just going to put one of each of those in all the clusters. And um, that is an Amy Tangerine um, a mouse pad, if you will, I guess, <laughs> to put under so you don't poke holes through your table. So I'm going to put all those in there. And what I do when I put brads on my pages is um, after I poke them through and get them set, um, I will take some washi tape and I will put washi tape over the backs of them. That way when I slide them into my album, they're not going to rip up anything and they're not going to um, mess up any pages that is going to be behind in my albums. So now I'm going to work on my journaling. I'm just talking about the event and how my older daughter is in the bigger picture. She's the one in the middle spinning. Um, she was front and center for this for this guy who was a children's entertainer at our local library. And 
she was front and center, dancing around, all sorts of fun. And then the picture next to it with me and my younger daughter, that's pretty much what she did the whole time. She sat in my lap and she pouted. So I'm just talking about how uh, funny it is that they are, they can really be polar opposites sometimes. And I had to get that picture in there with that pouty lip. So I'm going to put my journaling up on pop dots just so that it stands out. And plus I have a uh, two cardstock layers underneath it so that can get pretty bulky so I wanted to make sure it didn't look crooked or anything. And um, I attached a, a metal banner clip that came in the kit as well. That's what's up in the left hand corner of that journaling spot there. So I'm going to get my journaling down. And um, that washi tape uh, sheet there, the ones in the middle that are solid colors, those are actually, they have shapes punched out in them. So I'm using some stars and I'm just in two different colors and I'm just uh, scattering those around a little bit. And that washi strip is from Basic Gray from the Hipster line that came in the kit. So now I am going to do some spray. Um, Mist splatters. I'm using Mr. Huey's and Bonnie Bell Blue, and I also pull out uh, Sunshine. The Sunshine doesn't show up quite as well. It's a little bit more subtle since it's yellow against red, but um, there's a couple places where it does show up pretty well. And I am not the best mister <laughs> as far as doing pretty splotches that uh, I see so many people do, but I'm trying. I'm trying. I'll keep working on it. And uh, the spray is uh, from my stash as well. Those are not that those did not come in the kit. So now I'm looking, trying to see what else from the kit I can use just, uh, to get it used up. Um, I believe I'm about to pick up some sequins. They we have there's some gold sequins that came in the kit. Yep, and I love me some gold sequins, so I put some of those on there. I'm going to take a look at it first to make sure, but um, I do decide that I want to use that. And uh, to attach my sequins, I use um, glossy accents uh, to stick those down. Um, I like that it, it dries clear. It is a little bit glossy, but with sequins, you can't really, um, you can't see it at all. So, but it's definitely the strongest adhesive that I have found so far to stick down loose things like that. And I know I want to put, um, I need a little bit of yellow down on the bottom cluster, on the bottom left hand cluster, bottom right hand cluster, sorry. Um, I pull out a flare badge from the kit that has an anchor on it, but it doesn't really go with my theme at all. Um, so I put it back and then I looked through my flare on my stash, but I didn't like any of that either. So I'm going to cut out one of these hearts from the pattern paper and I just made sure I had a yellow border around it so that the yellow really stood out and I'm gonna stick that down there and I like the way that looks. It also ties in with the paper up on top. And that's the layout. I'm gonna show you some close-ups and I have some pictures coming up as well. Thanks for joining me. I have one more layout that I made with this kit and I am going to get that ready and post it up here in the next couple days. So thanks so much, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week.